Welcome to Finished Work International Ministries, a ministry that is on the cutting edge, changing lives around the world. As you let God in today and apply the word, expect a divine encounter and supernatural transformation. It is impossible for you to be defeated when you have the revelation of the will of God. It is impossible for situations to subdue you when you walk in understanding of what God is saying to you. Let the finished work of Jesus determine what you pray. When God is your source, you don't look back. You keep looking forward. You keep trusting. God, I trust you. Here's Apostle Faith Man Obueda. Man, before I start, wow. If uh if you didn't know, or if you ain't made time, we've been praying, we've been getting on the the last couple of weeks praying an hour before church starts, and it is powerful. This morning Charmaine led prayer and she was going in and it, it was it, it felt good. It was powerful. Then Dana came through with the worship, Dana and Danae. <laughs> and my God, I, I man, I'm pumped. I'm excited to see what God about to uh, say through me. <laughs> okay, okay, so praise God. Um this morning we are gonna be talking about making yourself available to God. And, um, you know, as we make ourselves available to the Lord, he's able to use us in more ways. He's able to do things in our lives that, you know, we weren't expecting him to do. He's able to just use us in a more powerful way. We're able to go to a higher level in the Lord as we make ourselves available to God. And uh, when I say make ourselves available to him, I'm saying, um, you know, giving time to prayer, um, you know, giving time to read our Bibles. Uh, it, it should be, we all should have as believers, we all should just be putting aside you know, a certain amount of time in our day where, you know, I'm not going to do nothing but be with God right now. Because, you know, you, you make times for, you make time for the things that are important to us. And, you know, the Lord is important in our lives. So we have to make time for him. We have to have a time where, you know, you say, I'm not about to do nothing right now, but just just worship the Lord, just pray, just read my Bible. And as we do that, you know, we're humbling ourselves to the Lord and, and, and we're making ourselves available to him for him to take us higher. And so, um, you know, today we're going to talk about uh, Daniel. You know, Daniel was uh, a man of God who made himself available to the Lord. And, you know, he humbled himself to the Lord and the Lord was able to use him in a mighty way. Um, so in Daniel chapter nine, that's where we're going to start at in Daniel chapter nine. And I'm going to be reading from the NIV Bible, the new international version. And so Daniel chapter nine, verse one, it starts off by saying, in the first year of Darius, son of Xerxes, a Mede by descendant, who was made ruler over the Babylonian kingdom. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood from the scriptures, according to the word of the Lord given to Jeremiah the prophet, that the desolation of Jerusalem would last 70 years. So, right there, Daniel. He said he understood from the scriptures. As we read our Bible, God will give us understanding of things that are already in the word. And, and, and not even just reading your Bible, as you pray. You know, God has many ways of bringing stuff to us. It might be um, through dreams and visions. But as, as, as Daniel was reading the word of, of the prophet Jeremiah, the Lord gave him understanding of, of what was to come. 
And, and so that's what we have to do is, is make sure that as we read in our word, you know, we're, we're studying our word and God will begin to give us revelations of things that are right there in his word and, and that, can, that we could use for our life situations. So verse three says, so I turned to the Lord God and pleaded with him in prayer, in petition, in fasting and in sackcloth and ashes. So immediately when Daniel got the understanding, he didn't just sit on it. He said he turned to the Lord in prayer. And this is what God wants us to do. When God reveals something to us, he's not just telling us for us to just know it. You, you know, we, we're supposed to pray on it. God, God reveals stuff to us, good or bad to give us the opportunity to pray about a situation. And, and, you know, if it's bad, possibly change the outcome. If it's good, to make sure that it comes to pass. So, so Daniel, he began to pray on what the Lord had given him understanding of. And, um, you know, that's what we have to do is, is when, the Lord, when the Lord reveals something to us, we want to make sure that, that we are showing the Lord that, okay, God, thank you for what you revealed to me. And, and I'm going to pray on this because I want you to keep revealing things to me. And um, another thing about understanding is, you know, I learned this yesterday. I learned this yesterday. Under, uh, something about understanding is understanding is nothing without acceptance. And I'll tell y'all what I mean by that. So yesterday, I got up and, uh, man, you know, I was troubled. Y'all, I was, uh, you know, some, some stuff was bothering me. You know, I was just troubled. So I, I, I began to pray and I was praying and, uh, I was just distracted. I couldn't pray. You know, I couldn't really pray how I wanted to pray. I was just distracted. And so I, um, you know, I just stopped praying and I just started talking to the Lord. And I'm like, I'm like, what, what is this guy? Like, what what's, what's going on? Like, you know, like what, what, what is really going on, Lord? And, um, you know, the Lord led me to a scripture. He led me to a scripture and I, and I read that scripture and, and I began to get understanding on my situation. And, um, and you know, it, it, it brought me peace because, because I understood it, you know, the Lord led me to that scripture and, and, and then he gave me understanding of, of what was happening. And, uh, so, you know, everything good after that, right? <laughs> Wrong. So I I proceed, I go upstairs and and Aunt Janine, she was just waking up. And you know, I, I walk in there, I'm just seeing her, she just waking up, and she took one look at me and she says, What's wrong with you? I'm like, nothing. And, and you know, I just keep I, you know, I kept doing what I was doing. I went to the other room. And I'm thinking to myself, Lord, why is it that, you know, Lord, you just gave me understanding of what's going on. You know, I, I thought I had peace, but I'm still walking around looking as if I'm troubled or bothered by the situation. And the Lord told me, he said, he said, because that's because you haven't accepted what I told you. And immediately I was like, Okay, wow, Lord, just, just Lord, please help me. Help me to accept the things that you have allowed me to understand. Because, see, if, if we don't accept what the Lord has given us understanding of, then we'll still walk around as if the problem wasn't solved. We'll still walk around as if we don't have the solution. And, and that's what I did. I, I had got understanding of it, and I walked away. But I was still walking around looking crazy. And, and you know, I just need like, you know, what's going on? So so we have to 
make sure that as the Lord reveals something to us, we accept it. Because if we don't accept it, then, you know, it'll be like we never understood it in the first place. Um, so, you know, and, and, you know, we don't want to be ungrateful to God. We don't want to, we don't want to seem like we're ungrateful. You know, I tell Janine all the time, like, uh, you know, well, whether it's good or bad, you know, let's just praise the Lord and thank the Lord. Cause, uh, you know, I don't want to be one of those people. I don't know if you ever seen people when, uh, when everything they get in their way, everything going good, they all good, they happy. But we know when they don't get their way, they acting all sour. But as soon as things turn right back in their favor, they all happy again. And you looking at them like, man, it, what was wrong with you? You was just acting all sour, man. And I don't want to do God like that. So, you know, we just, just, you know, just make sure you praising God all the time, thanking him for what he revealing to you. So, uh, okay, 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 okay. So back to back to the scriptures. So okay, let's go to let's go down. We're still in chapter nine. Let's go down to verse 21. Chapter 9, verse 21. So it says, While I was still in prayer, Gabriel, the man I had seen in the earlier vision came to me in swift flight about the time of the evening sacrifice. He instructed me and said to me, Daniel, I have now come to give you insight and understanding. As soon as you begin to pray, a word went out, which I have come to tell you, for you are highly esteemed. Therefore, consider the word and understand the vision. Now, uh, When I read this, I, I was I was like, wow, because the the NLT version says on verse 26, it says the moment you begin praying, a command was given. And, and, and that just really I was I was really amazed. I was like, wow, Lord, because. The moment we begin to pray about something. Angels are being commanded on our behalf. And so the moment that Daniel began praying, a command was given in heaven, and, and the angel came to give Daniel understanding of what was going on. You see, we, we serve a God who understands all our thoughts. He understands our ways, and, and all he's waiting on us is to open our mouths. So as we begin to open our mouths and, and, and pray, commands are being given to angels on our behalf, uh, you know, we talked about, Apostle talked about um, angels this week and commanding your angels. Well, this is how you command your angels, through praise, through praise and worship, through honoring the Lord, through speaking the word of the Lord. So as soon as Daniel began to pray about what the Lord had revealed to him, an angel, a command, a command went out in heaven and the angel came on behalf. And, um, you know, the Bible says in Isaiah, Chapter 65, um, verse 24, it says, um, hold on one second. It says, before they call, I will answer. And while they're still speaking, I will hear. Mm -hmm. And so that, so God is not, God is not waiting on us to, um, well, God is waiting on us to pray. That's all we have to do is God is waiting on us to talk to him. It says, because before they call, I will answer. God understands our thought. So the moment uh, Daniel began to pray, God was our God had already answered his prayers. And, and, and if we look in uh, verse 21, chapter 9, it says, while I was still in prayer, Gabriel, the man I had seen in the early vision, came to me. Daniel wasn't even finished praying. And here, here's the angel, it already is, to come and answer his prayer, to come to give him understanding of, of what was going on. And, and, you know, the next time I prayed, I was like, man, y'all should have seen me. I was, I was smiling ear to ear because I, I could just see, I could just see the angels moving 
as I just, you know, I just know, like, hey, I, oh, I'm praying good now because everything I'm saying, like, they are moving right now. It, I was telling you, like, it just really strengthened my prayers, and I hope it strengthened y'all prayers just to know that as we, as we begin to pray, you know, we're not praying, we're not praying in the air, we're praying to God. We're not praying to um nobody who li not listening. As we begin to to pray. We got angels in the Lord. They on standby 24-7 waiting for us to, to say something. You know, they just sitting by like, uh, well, when you going to bust a prayer, Denzel, you know, I'm ready. So, you know, so, hey, hey, y'all better send them prayers up there because they ready to do something. So, you know, that I, but as I just prayed, I was so excited because, you know, it just feels good to know that that when we pray, God hears us. And not only hears us, but as we pray in the spirit, things begin to move on our behalf. Things begin to move for us. You know, we, it's power in prayer. You know, we don't have to pray these helpless prayers. You know, no matter the situation, we could be in trouble or, you know, we could be going through a situation and you don't have to pray a helpless prayer. You could begin to pray and to know that, that God is giving commands to the angels and, and, and things are moving on our behalf. And, and, and knowing that, we should never pray a, a helpless prayer of, of Lord, I don't know what to do. Uh, you know, just just begin to pray and speak the word of God. You know, read, read, um, get in the Psalms and, and begin to look at the Psalms and, uh, you know, just pray. You could pray with the book of Psalms. A lot of times I, I just, I start praying and I, I just get in Psalms and, you know, I just flip the book open. I just read whatever there and eat it. But they're prayers. These are prayers. And, and as we speak it, we could be praying it unto the Lord. And so um, we just have to realize that what we could do with the power of, of prayer that God has given us. Um, you know, I used to um, work. As a teenager, I worked in a couple of fast food places. Um, I was working in Burger King, and um, really, I guess all fast food places do this for the most part. Um, when somebody is ordering their food at the drive-thru, you could hear the order coming through the microphone in the kitchen. And so soon as they start to order their food, the person in the kitchen begins to make it. So when they get to the window, you're like, oh, here you go. It's already there. And that's how, that's what's happening when we, that's why I like to think about when we praying. Um, you know, as soon as we begin to pray, the angels, they moving, they moving. And so before we even done, here they are like, okay, it's problem solved. That's over. Don't worry about it no more. It's so, a, you know, that's how it is with the Lord. That's how it is. He, he, he is ready. He is ready. So, um, you know, wow, okay, that's really encouraging. Okay, wow, okay, so, okay, let's, uh, <laughs> okay, let's keep going, let's keep going. So, um, let's go over to chapter 10, Daniel chapter 10. And so, Okay, I'm not gonna read that. I just tell y'all what's going on. Um, so once again, in verse one and two, Daniel was was given a uh, understanding of a, he he was given a vision, and, and the Lord was giving him understanding of the vision. And verse two tells us that at that time, I Daniel mourned for three weeks. So he, he, and it says, verse three says, I ate no choice food, no meat or wine touched my lips. So he went and he started fasting. He started praying and fasting about what the vision the Lord had showed to him. And this is the whole thing about making ourselves available. We see that it was uh, uh, just automatic in, in, in Daniel's life as the Lord revealed things to him he he took it upon himself to pray and to fast about those things. He took it upon himself to 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 go the extra mile for for what the Lord was giving him of so he could have a better understanding of things. So um so let's move down to chapter 10 verse 11. It 
So an angel, once again, angel, uh, Daniel is having a vision of another angel. OK, now we're going to start in verse 11. It says he said, Daniel, you are highly esteemed. God highly esteems us. You know, we we as we humble ourselves to the Lord, we are highly esteemed to God. We are 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 in God's favor. We we just not just regular. God really favors his children. He really favors us. You know, we are highly esteemed. So the Lord told him, the angel came and said, Daniel, you are highly esteemed. Consider carefully the words I'm about to speak to you and stand up for I have now been sent to you. Once again, the angel has been sent to him. And when he said this to me, I stood up trembling. Verse 12. Then he continued, do not be afraid, Daniel, since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard. So, there it is again, y'all, as Daniel humbled himself and, and before the Lord. How you humble yourself? He, he, he gave himself to prayer. He gave himself to fasting. He took the things of the Lord seriously. Everything that God was revealing to him, he, he took it seriously. He took time to, to really dig into the things that the Lord was revealing to him. So he humbled himself before the God, before the Lord. And it says, um, your words were heard and I have come in response to them. So, okay, verse 13. But the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Um, so just earlier in verse 2, we read that Daniel was in fasting for three weeks, uh, 21 days. And but right here in verse 13, the angel is telling him, you know, I've come in response to your prayer, but the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me for 21 days. So once again, as soon as Daniel began to pray, the angels began to move. The angels began to come to bring him a message, to give him understanding of what of what he was praying about. But notice this time. That, that he said that he was resisted by the the prince of, or by the king of Persia. What'd you say, Satan? You know, the Lord trying to do something in your life and here comes Satan trying to block it. You know, so, and, and but but what he also said is that um, Michael, and we know Michael is, is the, one of the archangels, he said one of the chief princes came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia. So we have to realize that that this time, as Daniel began to pray, it was 21 days before he ever got an answer. It was 21 days before he before true understanding came to him, but it wasn't because God wasn't moving. It was because it, it was it was resistance in the spirit. It was something holding it up. So we have to, to, to stay strong in our prayer. Just because we don't get results immediately doesn't mean that nothing isn't happening. We have to continue to stay strong in our prayer life, to stay strong in, in what the Lord has caused us to do, knowing that God is moving, that an answer is coming. You know, um, uh a few weeks back i had i had this vision and um in the vision it was it was three angels in the sky and i was looking at the three angels in the sky and it was an angel of prosperity it was an angel of resources and it was an angel of my finances and i was standing with two other people and, and we was i was looking at them and I said, do y'all see this? Like, I, I was trying to get them to see. I said, do y'all see this? But they couldn't see it. And then so I kept looking, and I could see their wings was, uh, I could see the wind blowing their wings. 
but the angels was not moving. The angels was frozen in mid air, and I could see the 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 wings of the angel. I could see everything around the angels. The wind blowing it, and the the wind was blowing them. So I knew that time was moving, but it it was weird because the angels were frozen in sky in the sky, but they was like. It was like they were in like a, a, a flying position, but they weren't moving. So when I woke up, I was like, Lord, what does that mean? Like, you know, what does that mean? And, 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 and that's when the Lord led me to the scripture and he began to show me, see, see that, that is, I, I have sent angels on your behalf, but sometimes the angels have resistance in the spirit. And in that is our job to begin to pray that our angels be loose. So I began to pray for the angels to be loosed. And you have to begin to loose things in the spirit. The Lord, the Lord said, um, you, if you loose it on earth, it'll be loosed in heaven. So, so during situations in our lives, we have to begin to loose things. We have to begin to loose uh, situations when, when things seems not like it's not going right. And you know, like, Hey, I'm supposed to be getting this. This is supposed to be happening right now. And it's not happening. It's not because God has, has given up all hope on you and you can't give up all hope on God. You have to begin to look deeper into the situation. And, and also God will begin to reveal things to you in the situation that you could pray for. So, so as God reveals it to, things to us and it's important that 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 we are praying for these things that's the most important like god is so ready to reveal so much in our lives you know um god ready to reveal to us more than 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 we could ever imagine but he's not going to invest in us if you're not taking the time to invest in him if you can't sit down and 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 say, Lord, okay, I'm about to, I'm giving you 30 minutes right now, and, and for that 30 minutes, uh, you just read your Bible, you just pray, whatever. Like these are, and, and it's not always easy. It's not always easy. You know, it, it's so many distractions. You know, you st it, you start praying, all of a sudden you're tired. You start reading your Bible, it's time to take a nap. You know, you, you start doing praying or reading Bible. Now the kids just going crazy like never before. And you're like, my God, what is going on? It, it, I'm telling you, this thing, it, it's things are spiritual and it's not no coincidence, but you have to make the decision that I don't care what's going to happen. This is going to get done. So y'all kids, y'all can run around here and act crazy if y'all want to. Sleep, you could try to come up on me if you want to. But I'm going to pray. And, and sometimes with the sleep thing, because I that this is, I know, I, trust me, y'all, I know the sleep is a common thing. It, it's not just you. It's not just, we all get sleepy when it's time to pray. But, you know, you have to, uh, you have to adjust your schedule, you know, uh, get up early in the morning, get up early in the morning and pray, you know, after you've been sleeping all night, then, you know, then maybe you won't fall asleep so easy. Uh, I was telling Aunt Janine, I said, uh, I said, you know, uh, we got to start getting up early in the morning and praying. I said, you know, this is important. We have to make sure that we really are doing this because, you know, we want God to do all these things in our life, but we have to take the time out to, to show God that, hey, Lord, you could use me. Lord, you could, you could work through me. I'm making myself available to you and you do that by by making sacrifices it's it's not easy to um it's not it's not easy to do things of the spirit or just like it, it doesn't come naturally you know we hear apostles say this all the time things of the spirit don't come naturally you have to make yourself be able to do it and of course after you begin to do anything over a period of time it gets easier but you have to, to make the decision that, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be available to the Lord. And as you start showing the Lord that, Lord, I, I'm, I'm working, I'm trying, the Lord, he, he's going to respond. And he's going to respond in a way that 
that you 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 gonna tell you might tell Lord like, oh, all right, Lord, that that might be too much what you trying to do right there, cause I, I wasn't trying to get all that, Lord, but you know, but it's, you give the Lord a little, and the Lord could turn a little into a lot. So, you know, I I, I just I just just want to pray today that 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 you guys would just be able to give yourself to oh well i want to say this one more thing this is what i'm gonna say about the morning thing if you tell the lord say lord i need you to help me get up in the morning lord you know i'd be tired help me to wake up tomorrow and have some energy the Lord would do it. He would do it. And I know he would do it because he's been doing it with me. I say, I'll tell you, I'll be like, I, I, I set my alarm. Cause you know, you could set your alarm and um, an alarm go off and you just hit the snooze. You know, I got so bad where I had alarm set at four o'clock in the morning, but then I had a, a backup alarm set at six o'clock just in case I decided to skip the four o'clock. See, but you know, why are you going to do that? Why do you do that? Come on. Now, that, that's like an automatic, I'm not going to get up at 4 o'clock. So, so why do you even play yourself like that? So I said, Lord, I said, Lord, give me the strength to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, Lord. I'm going to be tired. G- give me the strength. Well, I need some strength. Give me strength. And, and the man, the Lord, wrote me up at 4 and I was, I, and I was, I wasn't tired. I was like, okay, okay, okay. And I'm telling you, I, every night I do that. That's 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 one of my prayers. That Lord, give me the strength tomorrow. You know I'm gonna need it. And, and see, when you ask the Lord to do something like that, the Lord gonna do that. You are gonna get that one answered quick because it's something that you're trying to do to get closer to God. So He's gonna help you get closer to Him. But we have to make sure that when he does do that, that you don't ignore it anyway. He woke you up, you had plenty of energy, and you still decided to go back to sleep. So you can't do that. But okay, so anyway, yeah. I hope I hope everybody I hope I hope this really blessed everybody today. And um, you know, right now let's just pray. I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, God for your word, God, that you have, have spoken through me today, Lord. Lord, and I ask that that we will all leave, Lord, remembering, God, the things that you have said. Holy Spirit, I ask that you help us remember your word in times of need to help us apply your word in every situation that we may be used by you, God, that, that we may be used by you, God, beyond our expectations, beyond what we ever expected. Lord, Lord, I pray that you just begin to give us a new hunger, a new desire to do things for, for you, God, in the spirit, to do things for you in your kingdom, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we just praise you, God, right now, God. And we just thank you, Lord, <clears throat> in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, y'all. Uh, amen. Uh, amen. Today was fun. <laughs>